Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanics. And on this episode, uh, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, the very first episode, we built our very first vehicle, as you guys can see over here. Now, if you want to know how to do that, you're more than welcome to go back and watch that episode. We did have a little bit of trouble getting the wheels lined up the way we wanted to. And we were just missing the fact that you need to be into the gun mode right here to be able to do it. And then you just right click on the wheels to get them to go the way they want uh, so that they're all lined up. The same thing with the the suspension over here. You need to be able to have it where they turn left at the same time and turn right at the same time. It's a little tricky to get going. This one's a little bit bigger, a little bit more complicated. It has jet engines on the back of it. It really goes uh, just incredibly fast. But lately, I've been over here messing around with my base and I've been building our very first building. Now, one thing that I have noticed is inside the the uh, inventory, there's a lot of stuff in here that we didn't use. Like, there's an actual staircase ramp that you can use. There's ventilation systems. There's uh, ACs that you can put in, the uh, air conditioners, you know, sinks, uh, fan, or not just, uh, you know, the different types of food that you can grow, I think, maybe down the road, as well as science. There's a lot of stuff to play around with. So the design that we have right here may not be the most efficient design, may not be even the best design that we're going to stick with. But for now, I think it's the design that uh, really is showing us what we need to do. But as you guys can see, there's there's been some improvements. I put a little sign on there that says do not enter. I put a sink over here. And there's even a little radio over here. Now, I don't know if the music in this game is copyrighted or not, so I haven't used the radio in the recordings. I'll go ahead and turn it on for you guys real quick. And you can hear the music go for a couple of seconds. But there there's other music that comes on in the game every once in a while. But one thing that I have been working on over here is I wanted to do an elevator of some sort. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the pieces that I need to do that, either I don't know how to do it right or I just don't have those pieces. So there's going to be a little bit of a workaround to get that to work. And the design that I came up with, I think is pretty cool. I think I think it works out rather well. I didn't want to do that. Let's put that back. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I, I don't know if it's going to be the best design in the world, but I like it. I like it quite a bit. So this is where our staircase is going to go right here. And I've, as you guys can see, there's a little switch and there's one of these uh, control panels. I, if I click the switch, you'll see that they pop out of the wall. I think that looks pretty sweet. Maybe do something with this wall down the road. Like when it pops open, there's there's, uh, you know, some electronics on the inside, maybe hide you know, the electronics that I need in there because the switch has to be out here. But this little device right here doesn't. This can be inside the wall wherever you want. You don't even have to get to this very often except to set up the uh, the 90 degree little turn right there. So I think this is pretty neat. Now, I don't know what would happen if I add a block to this right here. We'll go ahead and see if it goes up or not. No, it stays down here. So let's go get rid of that. Let me see, where does it open up again? right there okay so i'm going to put a block right there just so i know that's where it lines up okay so let's go ahead and draw two blocks right there and we'll get rid of this one will it take it yes it will okay so that is i think the way i want to do it it may look a little weird when you put it up on the wall like that but to be honest if you look at it like this it's going to go ahead and create maybe some kind of uh design up there and what i could do is I can't put anything on this one, but I could create maybe like a happy face on the wall, make it look like it actually fits. I don't know. We'll have to see how that works out. But for right now, I'm more than happy to kind of play around with it. Now to show you guys how I did that, if I close this, you'll see it uh, it moves on this little end right here. And I think I want the next one to be right here. So I got to get rid of these two squares. So what you want to do is put one of these pieces and you want it to go right there. If you put it going you know, in this direction right here, it can only turn left and right. As far as I know, it can't go forward yet. So this is uh, this is kind of how you have to do it if you want it to line up with the other pieces. Now, remember, when you put blocks on here, they have to be put down at the same time. So if I just put one block right there and then I put another block on top and set it up, it will only move this first block right here. The other blocks are not attached to it for some reason. So Make sure you uh, you make it as tall as you really need it the first time around, and that's not going to work. Let's go ahead and get rid of a couple of squares up here. They're going to have to be, you know, one taller than the one before it. So always start down here. Don't start on the top. Start down here. Move it up, and there we go. Now go into your build mode uh, as far as your gun goes. Connect the pieces to that, and then come in here and set it to a 90, 90, 
I guess degrees is what we're setting it to. Remember to go one further into it. So you can see that you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these set up. That's more than enough. I don't think I'm going to have ten stairs. And there you go right there. They're all set up. Let me click it again. They will all close. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do what I was thinking about having two right there. Maybe that's not a good design. Maybe just leaving it open and having something down here in the center to kind of have it close on would be a nice idea. I don't know. Yeah, I think maybe getting rid of that design. It's just not going to work. But it does at least let me know where the uh, the block should go at the very least. So we might uh, might just keep that up there for for convenience. Let's see. Do that, and that one is right there. Okay, so this next one needs to be right here, and it needs to go all the way up. So, yeah, that's definitely going to have to go up higher on the ceiling. So let me go up there and see if I can do that real quick, because I want that to be all worked out. And I may end up doing the exact same thing over here on the other side as well, because we did build a stairway. The stairways look cool. I like them, but they take up a fair bit of room. And if I can have them just come out of the wall like we're doing right now, I think that's the way to go. Of course, you can kind of see that I did have to extend the wall and make it thicker than it was before. So that wall over there is just going to be nice and nice and thick too. It is going to have some some definitely uh, some heady design. Now, how am I going to get up there? Let's do this so I can get up to the top. As far as I know, there's really no easy way of uh, you know getting up a little higher other than some stairways. So. Yeah, we're just going to put these things down. I'll replace them later on. Let's see. Can I go up a little higher? Yes, we can. I just need a better angle. I don't actually need to get up to the very top. I just need a little bit better view, like right there. Okay, so let's go up this way. And we're just going to go up as high as that for now. And, of course, we want to put this here as well because this is blocking the outside. As you can see, if I didn't have this wall, when the stairs came down, you'd be able to see on the outside. And I don't want you to be able to do that just yet. Maybe maybe when we build a secret room or we connect these pieces to one another, we'll do something like that. But for now, we want to keep it nice and simple. So let's see. We'll put that there. We'll go in here and connect it. Fairly easy once you uh, know the pattern. You just want to make sure that you keep going with this design now, i don't know if 90 degrees is the best i guess we have to go 90 degrees otherwise it would go down even further but that could be interesting too you could have it where it goes down this direction for a short amount of time and then maybe it goes completely down and covers the bottom or something like that if it was you know long enough to do so that way you could actually have stairs going up the wall and then uh, coming down into the wall I think that would be kind of cool. And now that I'm thinking about it, like a three, four, five story building that allowed the, the walls to be used in such a way would be kind of neat. Oh, yeah. I love how they go back in order. Just one right after the other. <laughs> That's coming along. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see. Let's keep going with that. We need to take away. No, we don't need to add. We need to take away. Let's do that right there. And the only reason. Actually, no, we need to go up one more right? No, that's going to go up one more by itself. The only reason we need to, uh, you know, go this far out is because I made this wall this far. But if you want to go with a short stairway, I don't see any problem with that. I don't see why this design wouldn't work with you when you try to do something like that. So let's see, go up this way and we'll do one more. Now I wanted to do a few of them off camera, like, like you saw that I already had a couple done just so I could work out the kinks so that when we came on, I wouldn't have to sit there and mess around with it too much to figure it out because when I first started it wasn't uh, it wasn't working right I had put the the things in the wrong area and they just they wouldn't close and open so you know don't be afraid especially with a game like this to just experiment and see oh no we're building instead of taking away <laughs> instead of holding the the right mouse button I was holding the left mouse button okay so we're gonna do this yeah don't be afraid to experiment and just try out zany ideas they're not all gonna work I'm absolutely positive that this design that we're going with our building is probably gonna be changed quite a bit to be honest because we do have a lot of pieces that we can mess with and those pieces some of them look really really cool I like the stairway I definitely do but Will these be the, the finished product when we're finally done with our base? Who knows, guys? I really, really couldn't tell you. But for now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep going. Let's see. Okay, right there. Oh, yeah, we're almost there, guys. Almost done. Okay, so let's do this. In fact, let's 
finish this up. Come on, one more. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so I need to hide this piece, but the one thing I'm worried about is if I take it away, that means I'm going to have to come back and, and do all these all over again. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but not too big of a deal. It doesn't take too long to do that once you have everything set up. So until it is, I'm going to leave it there. But at some point, I am going to move that. So let's see. We need to put this here. Hmm. So I guess this top piece isn't going to be able to be moved down the road because I need this piece to be able to cling on to it. Maybe make the stairways on the other side. The stairway on the other side is already lower than it is on this one, or shorter, I should say, than it is on this one. It's the same height, obviously, but let's see. I can do... I can do two more on this one if I really, really wanted to. There you go, guys. There's my finished stairway. Nice. I like it. I like it. It doesn't look too bad right here. It does have a uh, a unique design that kind of fits into it. It actually gives you more room to walk with over here. I don't, can I see through the wall? That's kind of weird. Let's close it up and see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little faster. Yeah, maybe a little faster because that's a little slow. Let's see how we speed this up. Fat. Oh, it's already as fast as it possibly can go. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just that I, it'd be nice if it went just a tad bit. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be awesome. The stuff that I'm already thinking about creating is just uh, its limitless, guys. There's a lot of factors that you can play with on this game. Oh, man, underground bases? Like, I'm going to be able to have the flooring come up and you'll be able to go down into the basement and not even know that it was there otherwise. I have a door over here that looks really cool. It stands out, though, because it's a wooden door. And as you can see, when you close it, it closes the door and then puts the latch on it so nobody can get in. And if you want to see how that's set up, you can watch the second episode that I did right there. Uh, you want to make sure that you have these, uh, these rotating devices in the right area right there and that you have them set up uh you know going the right direction otherwise this little thing will go left or it could go right this one right here could go inwards as well so if i wanted to i could switch it from going that direction let's close it up uh no that didn't work right let's go that way let's try it again hmm, i wonder why it won't go in let's try it what does it do it just freaks out. Okay, so I see it's trying to go the opposite direction. Oh, when I put this down, I need to put it over here or something like that. And then it would go into the house instead of out of the house. Okay, I see what's going on there. But you know what you could do? Oh, you know what we... Oh, I have a really cool idea, guys. Maybe a rotating door in the sense that... It's a four-parter or maybe a two-parter. So when, like those rotating uh, fireplaces in the movies that you stand in front of it, it rotates completely and it has a different side on the other end versus the, the or the exact same side. So it looks like two fireplaces and rotates you completely into the next room. I think that might be the next thing we do for, for the garage area. I think I want to be able to have my cars come over here and sit on top of the rotating floor that completely takes them into the garage without having to drive into it let's see if we can figure that out now, how would we do that that would be a it would be a floor so let's do it over here i want i want my garage to be pretty big let's change the direction this is going to go yeah like that because we're going to be doing flooring okay so i want a nice flat floor for it this is not going to be the floor that i use for the actual device this is going to be the floor that the device sits on to see if we can get it to actually work. So there's three right there. Let's do another three. Because this is going to be pretty big. We're going to need a lot of space to work with. And the grass is, you know, it's a factor. It's going to it's gonna take up a little bit of uh, view. But that's all right. Because like I said, there's going to be another square that sits on top of this. Now, how are we going to do this? We need to put this thing down. The problem with it is, if you put it down, it only goes so far. It can only take up so much area. So... Hmm. We're going to want it to turn a 300 or 160 degree, maybe 360 at some point down the road. Let's just let's just put it down and see how it works. We're going to put it right there. We're going to build as big of an area on top of it as we possibly can. Hmm. I wanted to do a 360 and not
I don't want it to be on the corner. I want it to be in the middle. Okay, so that is connected. Let's go ahead and put a piece down over here. We'll put it on the, the dirt. Or actually, maybe not on the dirt. We'll put it right there, and we'll put a switch. These are going to be moved. They're just there for now while we mess around with it. Let's connect this piece over to that and this button to that. Now, when we go into our controller, I want it to turn not 90, but 180. 180 degrees? Yeah, there we go. Now, let's see what happens when we flip the switch. Okay, well, it's in the way. It's in the way, so we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to get rid of this stuff. No, that's not what I want to get rid of this stuff. Okay, we'll have to put it over here somewhere so it's not in the way. That's that's a big radius. I did not consider it was going to be that large. Can we put it over here? I guess we can. It's just uh, you're not going to see it very well for now. Let's put that there. Wait, it won't let me connect? I guess because this isn't connected to anything? It's too far away. I don't know. Maybe it's it's in the ground, so we can't do it. Let's build a platform real quick. That way it does have somewhere to sit. A little bit more stable than it is now. Let's change the direction, because that might be doing it as well. Right there? Yeah. And we'll put the switch right here. Okay, now will it connect is the question. Connect it there and connect this one. Can we not see it? I think it's too far away. I think it does have a radius at which, uh, at which it will only, yeah. See, when you click on it, it disappears over there. I wonder what the radius is. Okay, let's do it over here then. Let's put a piece right there and a button. Yeah, we'll have to figure the details of how far this can go. There we go. No, see, it's still within that radius. Okay, so we're going to have to put it on top just for now until we can figure out how to give enough room let's see button as far as i know it doesn't need to be stable it doesn't need to be you know on a platform by itself it can move with the device there we go so what if we we push the oh i haven't set it that's right okay so 90 degree no 180 come on 180 let's try it out okay so it starts here and goes over here. Um, let's add some more blocks to it and see if it actually works. Because last time I did this, the blocks would not go with it. The ones that I added after the fact. They just stuck to the ground, apparently. Okay, let's see. Will it move? Nope. See, it doesn't uh, consider that part of it for some reason. Hmm. How do you do that, then? If you can only make squares so big when you first put them down... How do you add more to it? I guess they could work in conjunction with each other. I mean, if you get them to be on the same timetable, maybe they can move with one another at the same time. Maybe. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm winging it here because I've never tried this design. Okay, let's connect it. And we'll set them up both as 180 on this first uh, square. That way, maybe they will move together. There we go. And no, no, not quite. Hmm. Okay, so what on earth is going on? Okay, this is this is a little weird. This is gonna take the feet out from underneath me, isn't it? Oh wow. Okay, so I think what it is is the center needs room it needs like the, the the very very center needs room for these corner pieces because they're round i mean they're not round and that's kind of what's throwing it off how do i do that i guess we'll have to start over with with the pieces get rid of this we'll have to make sure there's room for it to uh to play around with let's get rid of this and this and this whole piece right here this is uh why i like showing that the game off because it's a trial and error you kind of have to work with it. I've never done designs like this in any game I've ever played. So, let's see. What if we do one right here and we'll do one right here? That way there's a little bit of room in between for the corners to do their thing. So, we'll go out as far as we can. Yeah, go out as far as we can. And somehow we have to fill in the gap later on. 
Maybe I shouldn't be going with four pieces, but I wanted to do an entire 360 at some point down the road. So I think, uh, I think, yeah, well, let's, let's start difficult and work our way back. That was not perfect, so we'll have to start over on this one. Right there. Yeah, we want it as big as you possibly can go. That way, if we need to make it smaller, that's always going to be easier than making it bigger. Anytime you uh, you work out the details in the larger format, you're, you're going to have an easier time. And I guess I didn't go out as far as I possibly could over here. Or maybe I went out wider than I did uh, longer. I don't know. Let's, let's get rid of that and try that again. Nope. We could actually go out further. Okay, so let's do this right here. Line it up. Yeah. Okay, now, now we have to give it a floor. Or not a floor, a uh, control panel. So let's do a control panel, a switch. Let's connect them again. Connect them all to that. We're going to try to use them all at the same time is the thing. This is probably not going to work. Yeah, now I'm looking at it. It's probably not going to work. Because the flooring is just not set up right. That's going to take a lot of work to get that to be... Uh, it may have to be like a jigsaw, jigsaw shape because it's not... Yeah, some of these are going to get in the way of each other. Okay, <laughs> well, let's let's see how this works. If we have to uh, cut out some of the, the blocks to make it a jigsaw, then that's exactly what we'll do. And I bet you more than anything we can get it working that way. But I'm glad I have the space out here to mess around with this. Because there's been some uh, areas of this map that is very, very hilly. But I think that's going to come into effect uh, pretty nicely as well down the road. Okay, let's see how this works, guys. Mm. I don't know if I like how it kind of just seesaws back and, sh back and forth when it does. Yeah, that's that's not right, is it? That's only 90. That's not 180. Okay, so it's only moving 90 because the other ones are getting in its way. How would I fix that, though? It does take you from one side over here to right about over here, but I kind of want it to go all the way around. What if I remove some of these blocks and say... Let's look at this again. Let's turn it on. So if I removed this block and this block, maybe right here. Yeah, see, it would actually move over a little bit more. So actually, it's just getting rid of it all together because I took it off of the, the piece right there. So let's just get rid of the whole thing and see how that works with this gone. <laughs> okay, you're trying to kill me, aren't you? Oh, no. Okay, so it doesn't... Oh, jeez. What is wrong with this? How about we get rid of this much? Okay, so that works. Let's do it again. Let's try that. So it goes all the way over here fairly quickly, and this one goes all the way over there. So if you're on the outside... If you were on the outside, how would that look? No, not uh, not really working. What am I doing wrong, though? Like, this one still wants to move, I bet. Let's try just this one. And this one needs to... <laughs> it's not even connected to anything. It's just a giant slab of concrete sitting over here. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to work on this off-camera. Wow, that moves incredibly fast. Let's, let's slow that down a little bit, too, because you can control the speed at which that moves. I'm going to slow it down to about that speed. Because if my car is on here, I don't want it flying off when it goes to the other end. Okay, so that's a lot better. That's going to allow me to see what's actually going on. The problem with this is, if you look at it, it covers up the other corners right there. All those other ones right there. And the blocks that you put down have to be connected to that. So if it covers it up, there's no way it's going to... Uh, to be able to line up. The only way to do that would be to make sure that this piece right here, oh no, it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna be able to do 180 degrees without covering up other pieces. And it, I just want a giant cylinder. Like that's all I wanted to do is connect this to other 
other blocks and have it go with it, but it won't let me do that unless... What if I... What if I do this? What if I connect this to that right there? And then go up over here as well. Adding another layer, it should rem it should move all of it with it. Because this is the bottom layer that it's connected to. So let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you need a second platform. You need the first platform down on here at the bottom that's actually doing all the controlling. And then you need your second platform up here. So basically what we should have done is uh, not have put this platform down. But I've tried putting this thing down on the ground. And as you can see, it wants a platform to be on. It doesn't want the dirt. So you do have to put this layer right here for the second one to work. Uh, let's, let's move this off. And we will put that... Uh, I guess let's put it up here for now until we find a better spot for it. And let's connect this over. And then we can make this as big as we want to. The only thing we're going to need to do is build a set of uh, either stairs or... You know what? There actually is an item in the game that will allow us to drive up, I think. Let's see. Where is it at? Right here. The staircase ramp. But how is that going to work? Because uh, if you look at the way this moves... If I put this down in any way, that that thing's going to hit it, I think, is, is what's going to happen. Let's see. Can I turn it? There we go. It's a little high, actually. A little high. But if I put that there, when I do turn this, even though it's not hooked up anymore, let's, let's hook that up, actually. Let's grab it right there and put it into that one. And we'll do that. And then I have to set it up for 180s, 180 degrees. Come on, there we go. A little bit further, there we go. And then click the button. Nope, that's not what I want to click. I want to click the button. Click the button, dude. Yeah, see, it's hitting the stairs. Hmm. How do I do that? Because uh, this platform has to be out far enough. Let's see if we can figure out where it needs to be. I'll put this here. And we'll hit the button again. Hopefully that doesn't hit anything on the way out. There we go. Is it going to hit? No, it's actually clear. How about I do one more? I think one more is pushing. I think one more will definitely hit. But we want to be absolutely sure so we know exactly where it needs to be. Will it hit? No, it didn't hit. And it didn't hit there either. Okay, so let's do one more. Just as, you know, we're pushing our luck, but, yeah, you know, I want to be absolutely sure. No, it didn't hit. Holy crap. That one hit, which is fine, because that's, that's the end of it right there. That's where we wanted to stop anyways. And then when it turns back around, it's small enough that it's not hitting. Okay, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Can I make this one bigger? What if I make this one bigger? by one row if if that doesn't work we can of course always uh you know get rid of it but for now i want to make that even that way it lines up perfect with that that little floor right there nope nope now it's hitting it's actually knocking the thing off okay so let's go back around we'll get rid of that that side Oh, man. I like the way it looks, though. It is uh, definitely coming along. Taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. I thought it would be a little bit easier than this. But now that I know how it works, I think the next one will definitely be a lot easier. All right, guys. Well, now that we, we have that set up, I think we're going to end the episode here. I do want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the, the semi-tutorial learning experience of setting up a moving platform so that you can have uh, you know, a 360 or 180 degree a rotating platform for your convenience, whatever you want to set it up for. This is going to be my garage where I drive in, it turns it around, and that way when I drive in straight, I will be able to have it where it flips it back around 180 degrees so when I want to drive back out, I don't have to back out, I can just drive straight back out the way I came in. So I think that's going to work out really well. Now I think what I'm going to do in between this episode and the next one is raise this platform a little bit because I want to have this um, this right here set up so that I can use it 
to uh, to go in. I think where's the closest that we can have it right, right uh, there, right. Of course, we're gonna need a uh, a platform on the ground apparently to put that on. So let's do that real quick before we end it, just so I can show you guys what we're planning here. Because I'm gonna do that off camera, so you guys don't have to sit there and watch it. Come on, let's there we go. That way it can drive in and out. Uh, I don't know if there's a another platform that we can use to do this a little bit easier for than those ramps because those ramps are actually a little bit bigger than what I'd prefer to have. But you know, it's the only thing I've found so far. So ah, it's too steep too. Yeah, that's way too steep. I might be able to walk up that, but there's no way my car is going to be able to drive up that. So yeah, I'm going to have to figure something else rather than this one guys but thanks again for watching if you do enjoy the video hit that like button subscribe definitely helps grow the channel and i greatly appreciate it but more than that guys if you like the game go check it out it's on early access steam right now 1999 uh, made by uh oh man axolot games <laughs> oh sorry for a second there i, I spaced uh, axolot games they have produced a fantastic game guys i greatly enjoy it and hopefully you do as well and until next time guys